For our next presenter, I'm going to introduce um, Sachiko Presser. Uh, Sachiko will be uh, talking um, about talking to us about her work and in particular um, her body of work endangered species. Sachiko Pulsar is a Cambridge-based artist and printmaker. She was born and raised in Kyushu in the south southwest of Japan in an environment which was close to nature and to animals, both of which have had a major influence on her. Perser graduated from Cambridge School of Art in 2015, obtained an MA in children's book illustration, and recently completed um, her uh, M MA in printmaker. She is passionate about nature and the environment, especially the welfare of animals and birds. She combines traditional techniques such as Japanese wood engraving and sumi ink painting with a contemporary perspective of printmaking and digital techniques to create mixed organic technological hybrid works. Thank you very much. And uh, Sachiko, the floor is yours. Um, so thank you very much for inviting me today. And uh, my name is Sachiko. Uh, I'd like to introduce my project called Endangered Species today. So Marita introduced me before. I was born in Kyushu and the south of Japan and the uh, environment close to animals, birds and fishes and even bugs and reptiles. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. So it's a combined with the professional. I mean, so this one is uh, so about me. This is the first. So he, she introduced me. So you want to go to the next slide? Yeah. Yes. Just if it, yes. So this is the first image I created for this project. 16 angel species. This is, and the aim is to raise awareness of a uh, wave of extinction in the natural world by creating image of vanishing animals and birds and uh, communicating this important environmental issue to the public. We come from nature and without a sustained balance of nature, we won't be able to survive. Within the ecosystem, each species had reason to exist and the link to each other. Sustain the balance of nature, but we have been destroying the nature to build our civilization. Animals and birds are vanishing the world because of their habitat loss, poaching, exposure to toxics pesticide and the spread of invasive species. It's a happen here, it's like a red squirrel here, it's all wiped out. Without, within an ecosystem, ecosystem, each species has reason to exist and link to each other. Sustain the balance of nature, but we have been destroying nature to build our civilization. Animals and birds are banishing the world because of their habitat loss, poaching, exposure to toxic pesticide and spread of invasive species. Like a lake squirrel and swiped out this country. And also pet trade as well. With the ecosystem, each species has a reason to exist and a link to each other. Sustain the balance of nature, but we have been destroying the nature to build our civilization. Animals and birds are banishing the world because of their 
Habitat loss. Poaching. Oh my goodness. It's, I have to speak about the technique of this. Using the medium of Japanese ink painting as brush painting, combined with the monoprint in Japanese uh, paper, is a Japanese paper called uh, Minge Washi I used. My image depicts 16 endangered species in abstract environment, showing the negative environmental background, the impact of humans walking away. One or two of animals are looking back at us. This is the second image I created in this project. And I like to uh, speak about climate change with this image. So climate change has an impact on the world's weather patterns. So we are weather has caused the flooding and the drought some part of the world. It has also caused Amazonian fire and a fire in Australia and also California. Where lots of animals are losing habitat and dying. Also alternating the timing of life cycle causing species shift where they live, and in some cases even leading to extinction. We are losing the balance of nature and are now at the crisis point in terms of extinction. Even here, the list of critically endangered species increases and some become extinct. For this image, I painted animals and the birds separately and inserted them one by one into the background image digitally. This made it easy to assign the uh, correct size and the position of animals. The penguin. Penguin's meat is considered Delicacies in China and the Vietnam. And the scales are using in traditional medicine. They are most traffic and mammals in Asia and increasingly in Africa. I saw a picture of tons of uh, scales exporting from Africa. It's quite boring actually. At this point, I decided to create a portrait from them. So uh, left side is uh, my semi ink painting and right side is a print painting. So after creating this traditional semi ink painting, I proceeded to the second stage using the print method and the choose the photopolymer <coughs> method. The photopolymer method is an innovative new etching process which has allowed me to produce photographic and the digital image as well as traditional traditional image like mine. Species are quietly disappearing from us. I try to capture their existence by creating image of ghostly human eyes, animals and birds. So you can see the left side is a photopolymer. I could digitally uh, whiten the eyes of the hungry and I made the scales around them fade away. Giving the impression of a ghostly human creature. Next. Yeah. Oh no. Sorry. Okay, Java Rhino. One of the most threatened large mammal species in Earth. 
Javan Rhino only survives in the Bujang Puran National Park in Java, Indonesia. They are extremely vulnerable to extinction due to habitat loss, diseases, poaching, and uh, potential inbreeding. I use uh, this technique. Left side is uh, swimming painting, and right side is a photopolymer. The swimming painting, I use this technique called lingering technique. And I better explain to you later if we really wanted to know about this texture. So this is a Sunda tiger. As a left, it's a, a swimming painting, and right is photopolymer painting. So accelerating deforestation and the epide epidemic of uh, poaching means that this novel creature become, uh, become extinct, like a creature of Java and Bali. Soon the tiger suffers from loss of habitat and prey, while poaching is ever-present threat. So right side portrait were combined with a monochrome photograph of environmental background. Finally, it was digitally adjusted for photopolymer painting method. So three torsos. The decline in three torsos operation is due to deforestation. It's all same as like deforestation, loss of habitat and uh, urbanization, which poses many risks to sloths due to habitat loss. Sloths are more often landing on the ground and are therefore vulnerable to dog attack, car strikes, and a poaching. Uh, left side is uh, my brush painting, and the right side is put, uh, in a photo body, my, as you know. I use the brush technique to create a texture, or like a brush uh, blacking technique and a dry brush technique for the so far. So Tapanuri orangutans also recognized as a distinct species in uh, Sumatra in 2017 and is already facing extinction. The threat of hunting and the loss of habitat due to agriculture. New uh, threats are also emerging, such as uh, uh, infrastructure con uh, construction, gold mining, geothermal, and uh, hydropower uh, plant development. And for this image, uh, as you know, the left side is a uh, swimming painting and the right side is a uh, photopolymer painting method. I use the same uh, technique as before, a uh, dry uh, brush technique and the brush breaking techniques as well. So more repaired. Uh, native to primarily region of uh, Southeastern Asia and the Northern China. They are mainly poached for their beautiful spotted fire. Human initiated fires, logging and the development are all eroding the small remaining area of habitat. The very small population of armor leopard also make it more susceptible to disease. 
due to inbreeding. As the left side, the brush painting, I use a bokashi technique. And uh, I actually combine uh, forest fire with uh, this leopard image for photopolymer painting. The Sumatran elephant. Sumatran elephant has, uh, Sumatra has experience with one of the highest rate of uh, deforestation within a uh, Asian elephant range. Over the two thirds of the natural lowland forest has been destroyed in one generation. So for me, it's one, uh, only this uh, elephant is uh, facing straight ahead of the portrait I drew. But I cut the side and I take off the uh, branches and I take off, uh, I mean, it's frightened eyes and overlap the deforestation of water to create this uh, painting method. It's a photopolymer painting. So Philippine eagle is one of the three of the largest eagle in the world. The three eagle means harpy eagle and the Silla sea eagle and the Philippine eagle. The harpy eagle is the heaviest and the uh, sea eagle is heaviest and uh, this Philippine eagle is the largest. When I open the wind, it's around two meters long. So Philippine eagle is one of the three of the largest eagles in the world, yes. And then uh, the expansion of logging and mining and uh, agriculture have greatly reduced habitat. And I put the population at risk and control the hunting and the pesticide poisoning and have created a further pressure. I use uh, Suji Megaki uh, technique. It's the left side is swimming uh, painting. If you want to know about this technique, I can tell you later. The California condor as a human development, development has uh, significantly uh, degraded or destroyed habitat condors require for foraging, nest, and uh, roosting. And due to agriculture chemicals, poaching and uh, deep, uh, red poisoning. It's an inter interesting story. In uh, 1987, when the last wild bird was uh, brought into the captivity, there was uh, only 27 California condors left in the world. In December 2020, there was 504 California condors living wild or in captivity. I use the same uh, technique, Sujimegaki, and left side in the uh, swimming painting. Okay. So, Japanese uh, parmigan. Uh, due to global warming, in the climate change, a climate is in becoming unfavorable for Japanese Kamigan. Live in high mountains and is becoming an environment where animals live at a lower level can live also. Uh, wild animals such as monkeys, deers, and foxes invade alpine area 
causing serious damage to uh, polygons habitat. Amiga is not afraid of human in Japan because we won't capture them for a long time. Japan has a big, I mean, it's, uh, lots of I mean, it's, uh, camp, uh, mountains. There's a small mountains and big mountains. And we believe that they have a god on the mountains. So it's this mountain worship. And uh, Tamigan, uh, Tamigan live in a uh, high mountain and uh, through, throughout the year it's being treated as a god's bird. So we, hunt, we don't hunt them, so we don't, and they don't operate the human. We can help our species to changing world by ensuring that our own response ceases. The climate change affects the health and the well-being of the habitat and the resources they depend on. Once they gone forever and they were, and there's no going back. Personally I want my children to inherit in a world that has the diversity of animals we have on the planet. Are we able to call humane if we do not value the natural world? And uh, nature sound us and the fellow creatures. Thank you. Thank you. So techniques I use in swimming painting is uh, here. So if you want to ask me, you can ask me later. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sachiko, uh, for your wonderful presentation. And I'm sure everybody will um, have lots of questions about these uh, techniques that some people might never heard of, um, new techniques in printmaking com uh, combined with very traditional ancient techniques uh, of Japanese painting. Uh, so, so bringing the old and the new together to discuss the topics of your interest. and. Uh...